Continuing to field questions for us similarly, I have a student who's studying for the step two. I know many of you are studying for step one. I'll address this as well. A uh, student wants to know how to get a 40 point increase within the final month. And you know, this is the type of question where we jump right out of the gates. How do I get 30, 40, 50 points in two, four, eight weeks? Holy shit, right? So this is the a juicy type of question that students get fanatical about. And I can give you a very solid answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. Student wants to know how to get a 40-point increase. Holy shit. Within the final month, okay? And as I said, I get asked the student frequently. Uh, the student frequently. What the fuck am I saying? I get asked this question frequently by students who want their 30, 40, 50 point increase within X number of weeks. And what do we do? And I can say, because it's not cookie cutter for every student, but I can say that the consolidation during dedicated needs to be around the NBME content. And I say it's not cookie cutter because if you're not passing, I don't even want you dealing with the NBMEs right now. If you take a low pass, that is. If you take, let's say, offline NBME 20 for step one, or you take NBME 6 offline for 2CK, and you get a, a score that's slightly below passing, we can push you through other offline forms. But if you're scoring significantly below passing, and you say, how do I get my score up as much as possible? We need to take a step back and just say, we might need to postpone you if you're in the final month. I don't want you taking a fail in the final month on an NBME exam. And we're going to go back to your world incorrects. We're not going to reset the QBank, but... You world incorrects. We need to remediate. If you're taking the NBME exams, you're borderline, okay? And you say, okay, well, I'm not going to go back to you world incorrects. I'm not doing that shitty, but how do I get that score augmentation nevertheless? The answer is we need you to fucking assiduously review the NBME content, okay? There's no magical trick or tactic apart from recognizing that the NBME and the Clinical Mastery Series material, CMS for 2CK, but the NBME material and the US Simile, exactly the same questions. So we need you memorizing that content. And you say, to what extent should I memorize? Just the uh, answer, the correct answer choices, incorrect ones, explanations. I've made plenty of clips here on the YouTube under exam guidance playlist, okay? But point is, I want you memorizing NBMEs 20 through 30 for step one for 2CK, six through 11, all the clinical master series forms. I also want you going through, if you're studying for step one, high yield arrows. You need to know that PDF very fucking well, okay? So I'll link it in the comments below as a pinned comment. If you're not passing the step one, you need to know high yield arrows, okay? So point is, this notion of getting you up 30, 40, 50 points, holy shit, within two, four, six weeks, whatever it is, it needs to come down to consolidating around the NBME content. And if you're really fucking failing, it's got to be remediation of UWorld via incorrects before you go back to the NBME content. And I want you doing my high yield arrows. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.